Hello everybody, I'm Lisa Strickland. Now this morning I wanted to have a chat to you about sleep. Now sleep is a really important part of what keeps our body functioning. It's a uh, time at night is when our body re regenerates and, um, and a, a lot of different functions are having a rest and doing their thing that they need to do on a cellular level. So um, having a regular sleeping time to go to bed is actually quite important so we're looking at say you know normally you would go to bed at, at nine o'clock every night now this is a really good way of getting into a pattern so that your body can be in peak and um, there are a lot of things that impact it when you don't sleep so a few things are um, that can happen is it makes you hungry all the time because your sugar levels are very unstable when you don't get the sleep. Um, and this can result in weight gain, which is something that none of us want. So, um, especially when it's, you know, it's, it's something that can be prevented. So it's really important to be able to find that time of the evening, you know, when you put your kids to bed or when you've done the things that you want to do, the other thing is to try and make sure that you come off your screens because we live in a world of technology these days. So you come off your screens um, at least an hour before you go to bed and that will assist you in falling asleep a lot easier and you will have a more sound sleep. So um, a few of the other symptoms that you can have when you don't sleep well is you actually tend to say things that uh, you uh, regret later you know, or you do something that you regret later. Um, you can't make a decision to save yourself. <laughs> um, your motor skills are off, so you're tripping upstairs and falling over your own feet and, you know, your the whole, your whole um, balance is, is unsettled. Uh, you get very emotional. You can get sick a lot easier. Um, and your skin. You know, your skin suffers as well. Um, you notice people that don't get a lot of sleep or might have um, issues with pain and that sort of thing and aren't getting as much sleep as they could, um, really do find it hard um, to keep themselves on an even, on an even keel. Um, so, you know, use things. There are things that if you do have trouble sleeping that you can use. Um, essential oils are a wonderful thing. Um, I make up my own rollers things with lavender in it and cedarwood in it are really good for sleeping and um, I roll them on my feet and on all my on all my pulse points in in the different areas of my body and that helps me also if you're having a lot of trouble sleeping then an Epsom salts bath is great or even just soaking your feet in Epsom salts or magnesium sulfate um, in a in a just a round bowl just pop your feet in some nice warm water that helps as well. So there's there's many things that you can do to increase that time where you can relax, but it is really important in our world of technology that we do come off of our uh, te technological things like computers and phones and you know all the other things that we do um, at least an hour before we go to bed. And this will assist your body in winding down and your brain is not clicking over at 100 mile an hour. So I hope this benefits you and um, I really look forward to chatting to you again soon.